Hello everyone. So in this session, we will do the uh, render layers and also we'll just uh, use some of the uh, parameters of mental ray. So as you can see in previous session, we have just make each and every part and we'll have just group it and just rename it and just put it into different layers as you can see. So one by one, you can go any of them layers and you can found the lights also and also the uh, objects. So like this way, you can just have to copy the same light in each and every layer. And after that, we'll go to master layer, select one by one object and just put it into the each and every layer. Okay. So right now, what else we needed? Uh, we'll just not needed the master layer, but we'll not delete it because that's the uh, main layer. So what else we have to do? We'll go to panel and we will go to uh, camera. Okay. So in perspective, we had camera and as you can see, we don't require the animation and what else we needed. We just go to side wall and we'll render one by one. And at first we'll go to render settings. Make sure that it's a mental ray that would be fine. So we don't require final gather and all global illumination. We don't require it. We'll go to common tab. And if you are uh, working in an animation, that means if you have uh, used the keyframes of animation into camera or anything else in this scene, then you have to go to this uh, as we have discussed earlier uh, file slash animation ext. So you have to go to this and now you can activate your frames. That means how much frame you needed for that particular one. Okay. Or you can also use batch render for the same to transfer in another PC. So I'm not using any animation. We'll go to the default settings and what else we needed. We'll go to the uh, here the preset. So I just needed the uh, 720p, which would be fine, I think. And don't try to displace your camera because if the camera will displace, all the things will be displaced from its main position and it will uh, error to. Uh, yeah just go to, uh, it will just produce the error method or error effect when you go to the compositing software and it will not match okay so please don't try to displace your camera don't touch to uh, don't touch the camera don't uh, change the position of the camera that would be better otherwise uh, each and everything will be gone so you have to just make and just put the camera again and just render the same so that would be hectic so please don't touch the camera and just render one by one because uh, we have to uh, place the fixed position uh, the uh, position where it is being placed right now we have to place in the compositing software as same as the scene so okay now we'll go to side wall and just uh, here you have the same option which you have in the render setting so if individually you want to just change the setting of the render of the side wall you can just go over here or otherwise if you change globally that means all of them you can go over here that means here it will update all the layers but here it will only update this particular part so i prefer to have global settings but you can also do it well uh, i will not change the values so as you can see all the things is fine so image format is very important i will just choose the png so because i needed uh, the transparency because Okay, so I just needed the PST and after that, what else we do? We will just render the same. We can also render from here. We'll render from here and just wait for a while. Let it be rendered. File, save image, side wall, PNG is fine, save, go to crown, everything is fine, render it. So we'll go to lamp table.
second one so far front wall And the last one the side wall so it's not showing here okay leave it because this is here but still uh, let's see is it showing or not here okay, we have this this part so we'll just side wall if uh, sorry So if something is not showing at your screen, please don't try to just uh, focus your camera over here. But if you do it, whole the scene will be changed. Your camera angle will change and everything will not be matched. So we'll just render a final image also for reference purpose or we, either we can also use this final reference. Okay, intensity is very high because each and every layers has the intensity. So that's why the intensity is quite high so what else we have to do uh, we'll just uh, at least uh, de delete all the lights from each and every layer and we'll just render the same data and after that we'll put the light so the light is very very high here So what else we needed, we just select all the layers and we'll delete the same and delete layers. So we'll just delete, delete one by one. make a render then the ground part is not there uh, we have to just uh, take the reference and just put the ground part so cut
so as you can see we have rendered all the things and also i have just rendered this particular image you can do it well uh, i have just all the things uh, as you can see here we have the render layers and we'll put it all the references in this folder and as you can see all the things is in png and we'll just take this reference and we'll go to the compositing software and just do the compositing kind of thing so hope you understand this concept and we will proceed forward